Hi everybody, Dr. Mike Dusa here at MTFU Longevity Society. Today I'm going to be your professor of harsh reality. When it comes to carving up the midsection, we do know it's summer and everybody wants to have the tight abs and the jacked up arms. For some of you it's going to happen, for some it's a, you're maybe a little behind, but you can still improve. To do that, we're going to focus our attention on this little pictorial I have here. You need to understand the abdominal musculature and function of each area. This is all, the, the abdominal section is broken into components. We have the serratus muscles up top, also known as the boxer's muscles. It allows you to bring the arm across uh, the, the chest area. Um, external and internal obliques, okay, you've got those on the side. They do things such as rotate the trunk, pull the chest forward, supports the abdominal wall. Uh, they assist in forced respiration. They also assist, assist in rotating your trunk. Okay, you've got two sets of abdominus muscles. You've got the transverse on the side and you've got the rectus. The rectus is what we talk about when we're talking about getting that four, six, or eight pack. Very important in this section right here as far as uh, maintaining your posture. Uh, the rectus flexes the lumbar spine as in crunch, when you're doing crunches, assists in breathing, uh, assists in forced exhalation, such as exercise, or even if you're laboring to breathe with uh, dysfunction such as emphysema, it protects the organs. It also increases um, abdominal pressure during childbirth or if you're exerting a, a valsalva maneuver as if straining the, the stool. Um, the transverse abdominus on the side, that's a muscle uh, layer that's lateral to the front and side of the abdominal wall. It's deep to the internal oblique and it compresses the ribs and the viscera or your organs. So really what that does is it, it provides stability for the pelvic and thoracic area. Now looking at me right here, I'm coming along, I'm not quite as ripped up as I want to be. Of course, my birthday's coming. If we go back right here, and if Roman can focus on my old mentor here, Frank Zane, a little comparison, me and Frank Zane. Yes, I do compare myself to Frank Zane. I'm not Frank Zane. Relax, uh, but we need a barometer. He's mine. I want to get back to this. He's very famous for his vacuum pose, and we want to practice stomach vacuum. So I'm going to show you my little routine in a second, what I do to pop this right out. We're looking at serratus, which is up here, okay, your obliques, the transverse, and rectus abdominis. We want to work all of these. We don't want to just do a bunch of crunches and hope beyond hope and come with may. We want to be very effective and uh, uh, pre precise in what we do. So right now I'm going to show you a little circuit that I do, okay. I'm not going to do as many reps as I usually do. I do up to a thousand reps on this little circuit, but it includes stabilizing the lower body, broomstick twist. Okay, and we're working on the sides right now. And what I do is I support myself with my feet flat, okay, bend over just a little bit, opening up the joints in the low back. And it's just a little bounce to each side until you feel a stretch in the side, a stretch in each side, okay? And that's a broomstick, or in this case, a metal stick twist. And I'll do 250 of these, focusing the entire time. I just don't do them. I make sure I feel the stretch contraction on each side. We've talked about that in the past. Stretch and contraction. 250 of those. I'll come over to a dumbbell pullover, okay? The room's gonna get right over me so we can see the back end come out when I do this. You're gonna stabilize your shoulders on the bench. Your ass remains down, okay? Now, my arms start like this, they remain like this. There's very, very little bend in the arms. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it and feel it and stay in this little range. And you can see that pulls. The serratus, the back muscles, the pec muscles, the abdominal muscles, really, you're, you're hitting everything here. And there's a lot, many people speak today that this is not an effective exercise for what I'm trying to accomplish. Well. I don't really hold to that theory because as long as I'm focusing and I'm getting the result I want and we're not bordering on orthopedic incorrectness, we're using proper posture and I'm not going too heavy, I'm getting a positive result and that's what we do. I'll do 25 to 30 of those, that's a 50 pound weight. And I'll finish over here with an abdominal rollout. We've seen these before. It's really good for all the, the muscles in the trunk, especially if you concentrate. Okay, so we're gonna come out, elbows are out. I'm keeping everything tight. I squeeze the buttocks on the way up. We know that takes the hip flexors out. Just 
just like so. Now I'll get a little bit of a good pace of cadence going here. And I'll do 12 to 20 of those. Coming back over here to make the lights a little better. Uh, so that's what I'll do. I'll do that circuit four times, so it's a thousand twists, a little over 100 dumbbell pullovers, uh, I don't know, maybe 60 to 80 abdominal rollouts. Brings it all out. It works for me. Try it. Post below your questions, thoughts, considerations. And remember, there are no victims, only volunteers, and school is never out for the pro. Thank you.